and she's like, try it. And I ate it. And it was, it was unpleasant, but I ate it. My family calls it my superpower. It's my ability to see value in things that I can buy and flip for a profit. I'm the Crazy Wise Lady and welcome to my channel. Well, we are back at the shop today. I feel like every video recently has been at the shop, but I gotta tell you, I am having a rough time getting back into the swing of things since we are back from Springfield. I don't know what it is. I just like, I feel like I have to get back into shopping and going out and filming and I'm just having a hard time at it. Um, but we did bring all that stuff back from auction. We brought everything over to the antique mall. We stocked the booth and we still have stuff here that needs to go up on to eBay. So my plan for today is to unpack the boxes that are going up on eBay, to put them out on the shelves so that our listers who work here at the shop can start listing those and getting those items up onto eBay. Uh, Dina has already started on the Halloween stuff and I filmed a clip for that yesterday. Um, but there's a lot more. There's a lot of pottery and some glass, so I'm gonna get that laid out on the shelves for them so that they can start picking from that stuff and getting that up and listed for us. And uh, we also have a huge pile of Eric boxes and I have no idea what's inside. And I'm kind of excited to start picking through those boxes. So I think I'm gonna start unpacking those, getting those out on the shelves and uh, going through those boxes with you. Everyone should start arriving here in, what time is it? in about 30 minutes. And uh, Ashton has an orthodontist appointment at 10.45, so I don't have a whole lot of time this morning, but uh, we're gonna get started. So if I don't get run over by this realtor lady. So let's head in, here we go. Oh, well, I worked so hard to get this all tidied up. <laughs> and uh, now it's all hogged up again, so I'm gonna have to work on this probably for a little while um last week i spent the entire week here while i was putting out springfield videos and i just spent the whole week organizing and getting stuff done so i'm gonna break down these boxes and get them out to the dumpster um this is the trunk that we got this is probably gonna go in our house but for now i have to um store it here i think we're gonna try to put it at the end of our bed <laughs> and our tiger is going to sit right on top of it so I think that'll be a good spot for it but um I have a chest there now that I bought years ago so I have to get that one over here and swap them um anyway the boxes oh I already have the boxes over on the shelves I just have to empty them these we got at the auction and Andrew has to price those. They are all going over to the antique mall over here. We've got some shorebirds that I was kind of on the fence about putting them in the mall or putting them on eBay, but I think they're probably going to be eBay. I've got to get wire cutters for these because I thought we were going to be able to spin them out, but I think we're going to have to cut them out. I don't think they're going to spin out. But once they're uh, out of there, I think it'll be pretty nice. Uh, over here, this is the pile of Eric boxes I was talking about. Ooh, that looks like a pretty lid, doesn't it? So rather than dig through all of these with the paper inside them, I will unpack them for us and uh, we will go through them once they are unpacked. Go through the, we will, look at the stuff once <laughs> once they are unpacked. So I'm gonna go through these real quick with you guys. Um, here we've got some Francis Ware. I believe that's what this is called. I think it's Francis Ware. Um, but it's characterized by this kind of opalescence. You've got the hobnail on the bottom and it has this amber ruffled edge. I think it's absolutely beautiful, especially when you have multiple pieces. In this case, we just have a couple bowls, but when you see like all of the serving pieces together, the Francis Ware can be absolutely beautiful. So, Francis Ware, and I can't remember who makes it, but very pretty. Um, this, I showed that in the video. Um, these are uh, Evil Eye beads. 
to ward off evil and bad karma. Kind of, kind of neat. I've got more Port Marion. We went Port Marion crazy because we've got serving platters over there. We've got Port Marion everywhere these days. It's kind of a thing. <laughs> I think this is Tate. We recently had a tumbler um, that was Tate. It was ruby. And I think this is also a Tate piece. Uh, just because it's very, very similar. And I can't really make out the signature on the bottom. But I think, I think it is absolutely beautiful in the purple because the one we have is red but this is purple these are beautiful i thought that those kind of resembled icicles and i thought these are beautiful for winter with the blue and the gold they are made in germany and i'm speaking in the plural because there are two pieces kind of a little vase here and i just adore that texture this one I got really excited about <laughs> when I saw the pictures and now that I'm seeing it up close, I think it might be Bad Ash. It's a perfume. You can see there. It actually has its stopper. I think this might be Bad Ash glass. Bad Ash. Why are you not focusing? You're supposed to be a good camera. Focus. There we go. I think it thinks that vase right there is a face. <laughs> There we go. It's not marked, but that is my suspicion. This is a, another perfume. There's no markings on it. It's got a, a nice little, wait, maybe it is marked. Was it marked Bad Ash? I feel like one piece was marked Bad Ash when I pulled it out, but it must not have been that. Um, obviously this is a vase. I keep stepping on something that's crunching. <laughs> We've got this, this is kind of a mid-century piece. This was nice and it almost didn't make it on the shelf. When I pack up for the auction, I have a box that I put things in that go into the parking lot sale. Um, it does have a rough spot here that I think might be a chip on one of the leaves, but I thought it was interesting with the application of the flower. So I, it made the shelf. <laughs> this is Fosdoria Heirloom. I believe it's a candle holder. Uh, pink Fostoria heirloom. It's opalescent. This is kind of a quilted set condiment. I think this is for mustard and salt and pepper. Obviously, they put new lids on them. They would have been metal. Nice little quilted puffy set. I thought that was really pretty. We bought these glasses. I thought when I was bidding on them that they were Fred Press. They're not, they're Libby. I should have been paying closer attention. I think I overpaid for these. Um, they are marked L on the bottom for Libby. I don't know why I thought they were the Fred Press glasses because they're not. But you can see there is wear on them too, so. <sighs> and the rest are still in the box because I was like, I don't want to see my failure. So I just pulled one out. <laughs> More Port Marion here. A little Port Marion croc. And then these. I paid $5 for the lot. The other items in the lot did not make it to our shelf, but these did. Uh, we've done really well with these single um, little oyster shells in the past. Usually when we buy them, they are porcelain and uh, antique. These ones are pottery, but... I felt good about these. So I paid $5 for the whole lot. The other stuff went in parking lot sale and I pulled these out. So those I was willing to pay $5 for on their own. This is all older stuff. I don't, I don't think these ever got paid for. That's why they're still on the shelf. They need to be relisted. That over there is all stuff that's been priced for the antique mall. And yeah, I don't know what that over there is. Oh, that's stuff that I need to relist. So there we go. Ta-da! That's the stuff from the auction that needs to go on eBay. We didn't buy a whole lot um, for eBay. We bought a lot of stuff for the booth this week. Oh! That wouldn't fit on the shelf. This was also from... I want to say this is Isle of Wright glass. It resembles a piece we got a few weeks ago. That was Isle of Wright. But this one is not signed. So that's a guess. I'm guessing on that one. Just because it's so similar to that piece. 
I'm honestly not sure, but it has stars in it. And I thought it was just a beautiful vase. So I, uh, I purchased that and this was in the lot with that Tate piece. So, um, I don't, I think I'm going to lay it down on the shelf maybe. Well, I'll find the space when I turn off the camera. So that was also part of this. And, um, I'd say, I'd say we did pretty good. You found jars for the seashells? Indeed. I don't think, I don't even think. Mm. Well, some of them will. The little ones we can maybe put in some. I'm looking. I'm searching. You're doing a good job. Like, look at these. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I don't know. Yeah. Well, I mean. This one, maybe. That one's even got some barnacles on it. They're like really big shells. Yeah, I did not realize. Yeah, these are really nice for someone that likes shells, which I'm sure there's people, right? Of course, there's always people who like things. Oh, you want to hear a gross story? I don't know, do I? You're being it's found. really gross. Okay, tell us. So there was a gigantic conch shell that someone gave one of my daughters. I don't oh even boy. know where it just appeared. And it started to smell. It was so <laughs> gross. it was still in there? It was some creature. It was slimy, like a, this tongue. Like came, It was so gross. There's... They actually live in there. It doesn't matter. It was disgusting. The conks. It came conks, out and it they, like... They live in there. It was gross. It you, like slipped right <laughs> out into my sink. And I about... Yeah, it was disgusting. Oh my god! I know they live in there, but it shouldn't have still been in there. Should have found another home. That's all I'm saying. Oh my god. That that's so, so I funny. Can see, I can still see it. And, ugh. Oh my gosh. Looks kind of like a giant loogie, I bet. It looked like a tongue. A giant tongue, gray, nasty. Oh. Oh, it oh was so God. gross. It was so gross. Why am I doing this? I'm sorry. It's they all were... good. That's a lot of shell. There are smaller ones in there, though. I feel like the smaller ones can go in the jars. Yeah, these are cool. And the smaller ones are actually, I think, the nicer. I don't know. These are all really nice, and they're, like, not Look chipped. this one. Yeah, but, like, these ones, these are just, like, clam shells. Look, there's even still sand in them. Yeah, but they're whole. Like, there's no chips or in any of these. They could be for crafts. They could be for... That's true. A myriad of uses. Would That's like a that lot word? of shells. That's a lot of shells. Shells? Anyone? Anyone? Oh, my God. Somebody... Mm. Sh Look, I'm scared to touch them. As some Something's going gonna... to come out of those and that one. attack you. That's shells on shells. All right, well, I filled up two jars with shells. <laughs> and uh, there you go. There's actually more in this one. But I think they're all limpets. Limp and, and everyone's like, that's not a thing, Jocelyn. I'm pretty sure it is because I remember at low tide, there was this lady from Portugal, and she's like, you have to try this. It's called a limp limpet. Limpet? And uh, she gave me one raw right there. And she's like, try it. And I ate it, and it was, it was unpleasant, but I ate it, and uh, I'm pretty sure that's what the, these are. It's yeah, what that's what they what look I like. Do. Yeah, yep. ew, I don't want to see what the actual thing looks like. I'm scared to click on anything else. <laughs> that's so gross. And I remember they would, like, peel them off the rocks. Oh. Yeah, right there, like that. Is that what they look yeah. like when they're on the yep. rocks? At low tide. Oh. Limpets. Yep. And you said it right. See, I knew what I was talking about. Everyone, you, everyone here thought I was crazy. I absolutely did know what you were talking about. And then the starfish. We've got some pottery over here. Some nice little speckled stoneware pieces. This bell rings very loudly. It's obnoxious. We got this fish came in the box. This box over here was actually from uh, the house clean out we did. A very long time ago. We've got some... Like a, I don't know if that's a gate piece. Oh, it's gross and rusty. I don't know. Um, so that box has gone through now. All right. Well, I have emptied all of the Eric boxes onto the tables here to show you what we have. Rather than crinkling through the boxes, I just put them all out so we could see everything together. And I figured we'd start at this end of the table and uh, go through it methodically. 
Uh, these items obviously were already on the table. I showed you those already. But these red wire pieces are amazing and it's kind of a mishmash of different makers. There is some Fultz pottery here. I believe this is Fultz. Yep, Fultz. Fultz pottery, 1985. Um, the one underneath it is also Fultz. These three are Becky Mummert. Uh, Becky Mummert. I don't know. I've really got this thing for Becky Mummert. These that do the red wear and the stone wear. Um, you can see here. And it's marked on the back. Becky Mummert. East Berlin, Pennsylvania, 1982. Um, it has... I believe German around the edge of it. Um, I don't think I've actually, well, no, I take that back. I have sold some of her redware in the past, but normally we sell her uh, salt glaze pieces. So these are very nice. I like those. So we have a few of the folds pieces as well. Uh, we also have glass. This is a contemporary glass piece. It's a nice piece. It's got a little base here. This looks like it's Nippon. It's not marked, but I'm assuming that's probably Nippon. This is a Majolica piece. No signatures on the back. We had one like this recently, and um, it was a girl with her dog, I think. Um, over here, this one is hand-painted Nippon. That's a nut dish. It's got the nuts there. I think they're acorns, though. I don't know if eating acorns is a thing, but if it was, you would eat them out of this dish. There would have probably been little nut dishes to go with it. Unfortunately, we don't have little nut dishes to go with it. This is a little nesting piggy. <laughs> There's another little piggy inside. And uh, it was made in Poland. So we got that. I believe this is a little butter pat. Maybe. Uh, it is definitely flow blue. Um, and I think that's a blue willow design there. It's very interesting. Really deep blue hues. This is a hand-painted plate with butterflies and musical notes from Ruth Daniel Faye Padden, 1950. I'm assuming it's 1950 and not 1850 because of the thickness of the plate. Had it been 1850, it probably would have been a lot thinner. So that is why I'm making that assumption. This here is Peacock Glassworks. Also, I think our ADT alarm is going off. This is a little stamp um, dispenser. You would put the rolled stamps in there. And uh, the stamps come out the little hole. So it is kind of cloisonne. This is a Moriage. Look, see, I'm getting better. Moriage picture. Some little figures on there. It is marked 127 on the bottom. I don't know what that means. Very heavy. I should not be holding it by the handle. It just occurred to me. I set it down very carefully. We've got this guy. I don't know much about him. Other than the fact that he is pretty cool. We have kind of a bisque porcelain. That's kind of neat. Uh, we've got Roseville here. A candlestick. A single candlestick. Marked Roseville. 1135 on the bottom. Four and a half. We've got this bowl to go with it. Unfortunately, it's only a single candlestick, though. This piece is Lennox. I did not know that, but it is. It is a Lennox piece. We've got this amazing alligator crocodile. There are no markings on the bottom. And uh, Eric and I were both studying him, trying to figure out where he came from. I believe he is American. He's an American alligator, I'm pretty certain. And now a Japanese alligator. An American pottery of some sort. But he is just really cool. I wanted... Eric and I were both thinking possibly McCoy. But I just don't know. I, I thought he was really neat. So there's the alligator. I've got this piece. Happy anniversary. Oh, it's Fenton. Look at that. I did not know that. This little covered dish here. Hand painted... It's got some texture on it. Nice little piece. I guess it could be a sugar bowl. This is Monta Casino. I don't know what that is. Uh, I don't know. Made in Italy, though. 
What does it do? Does it open? Open sesame. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what we're doing here. I want to move it this way. Oh, look at that. Um, Eric found this, and it actually matches a set that we had not that long ago. Uh, a beautiful set of uh, Nippon Moriage. We had teacups, we had a coffee pot, that tea, tea set. It was amazing. This actually matches that set, but it was found not even related to that set, which was really amazing. So there are pieces out there, apparently, that I don't know if it was a pattern that they made, but this is a manchi match. And depending on how long it is, it's uh, probably, I don't know if it would be a bread or if it would be a relish. But it's a really nice piece. Underneath it, we have Royal Copenhagen, a set of six decorative, decorated cordial glasses. And I think we've had those before. We've got this wooden toy piece. <laughs> Can't say that word on YouTube. And this porcelain china dish. Limoges, yeah. Limoges. Nice Limoges dish. Some more Roseville here. We have a beautiful teapot. Kind of a footed teapot. I need to hold the lid if I'm going to tip it. There we go. No markings on the bottom. It's very thin, so it's got some age to it. Very beautiful piece. I love the texture on it. This looks like a Kutani piece. There are no markings on the bottom of this either, but it's got birds, it's got that red paint. Two Lennox, not Lennox, um, Lefton. Lefton pieces there with the original sticker. These are the white with green, and I love the white with green holly pieces. This one is not signed on the bottom, but it looks to have some age. It's got shells. That's a really neat piece. We've got two sets of um, sugar and creamers. These ones are Elite Limoges. I like Elite Limoges because the gold on these pieces always seems to be very, vi very, vi very bright and vibrant. And you can just see it there on the handle. Hand-painted gold pieces are just really bright, and they're, you can, I don't know if it'll pick up, but you can kind of see the difference between the two, maybe. This one is LS and S Limoges, so it is a different maker. Still a nice set, but they're, I don't know, I just, I guess I'm a sucker for the Elite. <laughs> the Elite Limoges is more Elite. And that's right, I said it. Okay, these are Hull. Hull USA. Um, we had a piece similar to this once, and I can't remember the pattern of it. But we've got two here, both the blue and the pink. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. <laughs> Thank you, Walter. Thank you. Walter set this down on the table. This was not from Eric. Walter added this to our table. I guess he found it in a box and thought it was needing to be shared with everyone. The Hummel. <laughs> this is W Germany, which means it's West Germany. That's right, sure does. Which means pre-war. Yes. Because West Germany fell away. Well, yeah. But. Very, very good. <laughs> We've got more redware here. I just ran out of room for it on the table on this side, so I had to spread out over there. These are possibly my favorite pieces out of everything on the table, and these are astounding. I pulled these out of the box. I remembered Eric showing me pictures. These are Royal Dalton. You can see they're on the bottom. They have the mark Royal Dalton. And they were made by a specific designer. And I think maybe the squiggles there indicate that certain designer. But very Art Nouveau, beautiful design. And they have a sterling silver collar around the top. You can see here, they are a pair. And they both have that decorative sterling silver Absolutely stunning pieces, and I'm absolutely obsessed with them. I love them so much. That Nouveau design is amazing. So those were probably my favorite out of everything here on the table. But we also have a little bit of copper luster and uh, 
the best piece of the copper luster, of course, is this little teapot here because it's figural. And you don't see this very often, but it's got a figural little spout there, a little creature. I think maybe it's a camel or something, but uh, that's figural. This was also nice, too, because it's got that marble on it. Little cup. So these are some nicer pieces of the copper luster. And then this set. Brace for the sirens. <laughs> this set right here, I believe, is a nut set, possibly. Um, you can see it is signed there on the bottom. 18 uh, something. It's hard to make out. 1865 or 95, but you have all the little miniature dishes to go with it. And, uh, yeah. So, I've got these candles here. I believe you would put oil in these, and they would twist or something like that. Those are really neat. And lastly, this mug. It's a really big mug. <laughs> so that is everything here that was in the Eric boxes. Um, not including the stuff that I still have stashed under the table. <laughs> we got some uh, china. This, unfortunately, this was the matching mug and it had a crack on it. These, these plates were nice, but I ran out of room on the table and I had to sacrifice something, so I put those underneath. Amsterdam Holland. Um, we've got some plates there and some depression glass. They didn't rate for the top of the table, so... But this, everything here on the table, I think the total spend was 1100 for everything. And I think we're going to do just fine with that. Um, I'm really excited for the redware. Those Royal Dalton pieces, they're going to bring a couple hundred. I'm pretty confident with those, as well as this piece right here. So I think we did all right. And I'm very excited to see how it does on eBay. So we accomplished our mission today, which was to break into those Eric boxes and see what we got. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. In case you spotted something you just can't live without, we do post 25 to 30 new items in our eBay shop every single day and I've posted a link to that down in the description.